Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. So DJing is making music with existing music. So the, the notes that DJs use are actual samples of music or even entire songs. So we teach our DJs at Spin not only everything about the art of DJing, but also the properties of music and how that relates back to being a musician, producer, music maker, aside from being someone that just presses buttons and spins records. That's not really what a DJ does. Ready? Stay on. The art form of DJing is advancing as quickly as all the other technology in our lives today. You can DJ from your iPhone. There are devices, DJ mixers, that are as small as an iPhone that fit right in the palm of your hand like a video game controller, and you can actually just DJ with your thumbs from, from something that small up to you know DJing a big gig in a, in, a, in a coliseum where they're using full turntables or controllers. So the uh, art of DJing has really gotten a chance to flower in the past couple of years because the technology, you can't even and keep up with it. There are new devices and new mixing boards being created every single day and they're coming closer and closer to feeling like real records and the new, the new turntables that they have are more advanced and so you're seeing DJ skills grow and grow and grow as these, these devices come into play where they can just DJ from anywhere. You can be more creative now because there were certain blocks, roadblocks that you used to run into because of technology, but now with cue points and computers and different things that you, you can just press a button as opposed to doing other things that you had to do to get to a certain part of the record. I'm like a huge uh, pusher for a lot of the technology that's kind of come out with DJing. Um, you know, I see that it's here to kind of help us and make things a little bit easier for us, so why not embrace it? Um, we do here, we do teach here how to properly use it though. And then when you actually get to the point where you don't really need it, you can learn how to actually use it to your advantage and really do some cool things with it. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, I think the technology, you know, the way that genres keep changing and hybridizing and, you know, morphing and all this stuff, it's great. It's growth. Things need to change. I love it. I was like, this is so complicated, all these buttons, and then I got the program on my computer and I was like, all this stuff, I'm never going to be able to understand it. And it's just so natural for me now. <laughs> I'm very shy, but when you're on a stage, it doesn't matter. It's just, if, it, if it's right for you, then you, it doesn't matter what your personality is, it'll just, it'll fit when you're on a stage and when you're working with music. <laughs> have to kind of have uh, your ear to the streets basically you have to know what's out there the new stuff you always got to just keep in tune with new music because um, that's important like there could be a DJ who's not as good as you but has all the new stuff and got the party rocking so now it's like oh well he won Every Friday night at every Spin DJ school from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, we host a session called Open Mix where everyone is welcome to come down and join us. It's like a DJ jam that we do around the table. Five or six DJs get together and mix all together in a big crazy DJ mashup, mix, jam, sound clash kind of thing. It's every Friday night in all three of our schools. Love to have people come down and check it out.